I was working in an office. This was this regular nine to five job. It just ended up being a job I fell into. It wasn't what I had ever set out to do. The first couple of years that I lived here, I really didn't have any friends. And if you don't have friends or a support group, it can be a really lonely place. Kind of terrifying too, because here, no one does give a shit. I was living in New Orleans, but Katrina had happened. And because I lost everything, I was determined. I said, this is a time to live to the fullest and pursue my dreams like never before. I told my boss that I was quitting. I said, I'm putting in my notice. I'm going to become a full-time burlesque performer. <laughs> You have no fucking idea what's about to happen. <laughs> I like to do this act naked, but this is like the closest. It's like there's my pubes, my puss, and my butthole. <laughs> my dance partner is really pushing me to be more naked and be more naked. Burlesque gives people this freedom and this sense of, oh, I don't have to be ashamed of myself. Like, look at this woman who looks just like me on stage stripping. She's sexy, and so I can be sexy too. The end of burlesque was being predicted even in the 30s and 40s when it was going full tilt. always hustling, you're always worried, what if this runs out? I don't want to see myself working in little bars several years down the road. Yes, it's used to me, but the more important thing is like spinning the records on my boots. People didn't realize that we were making a political statement. When you think about what a burlesque performer looks like in our country, that just isn't someone who looks like me. I'm trying to change the face of beauty. We're all there doing exactly what we want, not just getting naked. We're there expressing ourselves completely. Mm -hmm.